Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and I've got a, an interesting little uh, lock in the vise. This is a three pin mortise lever lock, and you might have seen me pick this in a previous video using a two in one uh, pick like this. Um, but I thought what I'd do is actually pick it with wires um, and gut it on video for you so we can have a look at the internals, see how they work. Now, these kind of um, three pin. Uh, sash locks or, or lever locks, mortise lever locks, are very common in the UK uh, and they're operated with a, a key like this and um, what would happen is of course is that you would um, have a door handle so this would, the door, this would fit inside a mortise in the door that would be your deadbolt this uh, is a slam catch which um, is, cannot be operated by um, turning here or using a doorknob and um, and overall, this is a, a relatively common but quite a low security lock, this one. It is three levers. The levers are all facing us here with the bolt um, just behind them and the, the bolt talon just behind uh, about here in the lock. And this key is reversible and you can see it's a fact, well, you know, uh, both sides are a mirror image of each other. So that bit there are actually levers one, two and three being the closest to us. And when you put the key in this way, to, through the other side of the lock, um, these three uh, bits of the key here would still operate the levers on this side. The center piece here actually um, engages with the bolt talon and will retract it back, like this, and vice versa. Okay, so how do we go about picking this? Well, I'm going to use some um, handmade picking tools. It's actually hard to tension this because the bolt talent is right in the center of the lock. I can't go all the way to the back. Um, I suppose I could have had a really really thick piece of metal but um, I'm using a thin piece of metal to do this. Uh, when we gut it you'll see a bit more. I'm using some 1.6mm music wire and a 2.5mm piece of uh, steel which I think is probably a tent peg or something. Okay so uh, just rounded the face of this off. Getting tension, holding tension on this is really tough, especially on camera. Um, but you can see I've got uh, the bolt tension. I can feel um, the curve of the talon uh, in the bolt mechanism. I'll show you what that looks like when I gut it. Um, but if I pull this back, you'll see that I've clearly got tension on the bolt because it's pulling as I turn. Okay, so this is a really hard bit, is keeping that tension on because you can see it slips like that and it is an absolute pig. So I'm going to uh, try and get tension and keep it there. Really hard to do. Okay, then I'm going to get around with, um, try that again. Get around with the uh, the pick wire for the levers. And what I'm going to do is operate the, um, I keep slipping that tension, is get around and I'm going to try to operate those levers so lever one two and we've picked it there we go so once you've got tension on this isn't too hard to pick let's gut it quickly and I'll show you what's actually inside um, I do find tensioning the, this lock hard it's hard to do in a vice on a table um, so I hope um, you can appreciate that when it's actually held firmly in a door, it might be a little bit easier to do. Um, so, uh, might need a better, smaller screwdriver than that. Let's try this one. This should do it. So let's undo these screws. A bit tight. This hasn't seen a lot of um, opening, I have to say. I think I only open it once to have a quick look inside and see what's in there. And you pick this like um, a pin tumbler really, you just go from lever to lever, pick, um, binding the one which is binding and lifting it, and then you feel the um, bolt move ever so slightly when you hit a gate. So let's actually look what's inside this. And there we go. It isn't really a mystery. So the levers look like this. And you can see that the, um, let's get the key. You see what happens is when you put the key in, it the key would turn around and it would move this um if I get it right. 
it's hard to do in hand, it would move the levers up to the right height um, in the lock. It won't do it now, it's out of the housing. Exposing uh, the gate. And then once the gate is all lined up and true, you'd be able to slide, there you go, the bolt through the gate. There you go, you see the whole thing open here. Okay, so that's how it works. So you can see I just move back and forth and the whole bolt slides. So let's gut this and you'll see um, where I tension it. So these are the levers that you're picking. That's um, lever three. There's a little plate. Why do you have that plate? Well, it acts like a washer between those levers. Lever two, and again, you can see how that has to be lifted up to this, just, just enough. You've got tension on the bolt and it, there you go. Move that one out. And take this little spacer out, there we go. And here's the last one. And this is actually, if you look on the key, the one which has to be lifted the highest. So let's put the key in again and see if I can't um, uh, show you how that works. So you can see that, um, oh, keep my finger on it. You can see that as that's lifted up, there we go. Then the key acts on the bolt and it can be slid through. This actually lifts up the highest because um, it's actually this part of the key here which is lifting that up. Um, so if I push it that way a bit, you'll see that it actually has to be lifted a reasonably high way. There we go, to um, to get the drag through. Now, interestingly, it's, you can see this is quite a low security lock um, because the actual gates here in the levers are quite wide. There aren't any false gates in there. This is actually quite a, a you know low security uh, lock. You can also see here the talon, there we go, and at, and maybe appreciate why I found it so hard to tension because um, this is thin enough to actually slide behind. And what I'm trying to do is actually catch the talon here so it can slide, slide it back. So actually, um, maybe I should get a thicker piece of wire, but um, I'm trying, that, that's basically how I'm tensioning it behind the levers and find that quite hard on this lock. That's the actual hardest bit about picking this. So there we go. So hopefully, um, if I get these three levers together, um, you can see how the gates, when it's like that, are all different. They all have to be picked to um, a, a higher, well, different different heights, should I say, to, um, to allow that gate to be open and the bolt to be retracted there we go so that is a, a typical low security three lever uh, door lock picked with wires um, and hopefully you can see how uh, these levers work with the key in the lock interesting if you reverse this key um, in the lock you'll see that the reason why it is able to work at all is because it is indeed a mirror image of itself, so you can still act on the bolt using the centre of the key and still pick the levers at the front using the, the bitting at the front of that key. Okay, I hope you found that interesting. Um, I would recommend having a go at picking these uh, three lever door locks or four or five levers low security door locks. They're, they're really quite simple mechanisms and um, you know you get quite a good bit of fun out of it. It's, uh, like I said, not much of a challenge but it is a, a an interesting little skill to, to have if you're a lock supporter. Um, these are pretty common and reasonably cheap. I think you can pick something like this up on eBay for well under a tenner. In fact, uh, probably under a fiver. All right, so there we go. That's the um, Lewis three lever mortise door lock picked with wires and gutted for you. I hope you find that interesting. I'll see you next time.